Okay guys, welcome back. So we're still here at the Mississauga studio. We are having a little speed kick tonight. Yeah, we are. We've had a couple of videos uh, working on some speed, some optimization of launch conditions with the driver specifically, but we're going to turn our attention to some irons. Yeah. Uh, we're going to look at some of the mm -hmm. fastest irons out there. Not specifically the strongest lofted irons, the, you know, the Cobra LTDs, right. you know, the, the stealths, right. you know, that are really strong in terms of the loft. These are strong, but P790s, Hot Hummel Metal Pro. Pros. Yeah. Uh, you've got the i525, Matty. Yeah. They would call these players distance yeah, more yeah. so. Yeah, exactly. And I've got the Cobra Forge Tech X. So we have modified the lot. We're all playing them all at the same at 25 and mm -hmm. a half. So right. for some of the irons, that's a little bit weaker. For some, it's a little bit stronger. But we, you know, at least it standardizes the test. And again, looking at a category of irons that will definitely give you guys some help and some distance mm. and that sort of thing. But they got a lot of a lot of kind of peel in the bag. It's as good well. looking totally. stuff. Yeah. Clean stuff. I'll tell you what, this ping I haven't seen in person. Quite good, isn't it? Really yeah. good. Yeah. Very, very thinned out. It yeah. looks good. It, it looks great. It really is. So uh, we're going to give it a run. Have a look at the efficiencies of it. You know, we're working with an Ellie Golf Shaft tonight, 120 gram X. Yeah. You haven't hit this one yet. I have not. But you've heard rave reviews from Mikey. Young loves, Michael it. loves it. It's a good yep. product. Yep. Really you, you had a set in 760. Yeah, I've got a set that's within um, the rotation. And the minute, <laughs> the minute, minute you tell the boys on staff that you know this is a good shaft, everyone, everyone wants a set. Like yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good okay. guy, Dean Fry. He's in a set. Yeah, yeah exactly. Well, maybe yeah. I'll be getting a set after this. Yeah, there you so go. We'll see. So, um, yeah, golf ball of choice, left dash Pro V1X. We're going to just cater to this. This little speed kicks. So the appetite is wet for distance yes. at this point. Let's see how far we can hit these things. Love it, love yeah. it. Okay, let's start with the ping. The ping. Fast. Quick, you can hear it off the face. Vel quick. I might have towed it a bit, but not much. Just a casual 215. Let's hit better. I just left the face open a bit. A little bit open. Trying it's to come back. It's a lot further. -ish. Yeah, it's a better shot. That's got some legs. So looking at these efficiencies, you know, 140, driver territory, isn't it? I mean, we're looking I, at- I've had some 140s on my driver I know. numerous <laughs> times. 130 feet in the height. That's crazy. The manufacturers will all tell you about this, that really while they engineer more distance into, into these irons, they're doing it by giving you height also. Mm -hmm. So you do still get 49 degrees, or not everyone's swinging at your speed, but you do no. still get 49 degrees of land angle. So it's it, really the spin is not what's stopping the golf ball here, it's the land angle. Yep. That's nice. Sounded, Sounded really good. good, that one. That one is hammered. Great shape too. Gotta to carry all of it. Hole. Get a chance. Oof. Very nice. Yes. It's nice, this iron. They've all spun around 4,300. Well, that's what I was going to kind of go to with the next part when we go to the uh, compare page, Mikey. So I think what we're loving about that iron is it's so consistent. The phrase that people love to hate, consistency, yeah. mm. the ping coined when they brought out the G425 fairway with Mikey. They, they really talked about that uh, ability to retain spin, not make it a guessing game, not have it fluctuate. And that's where uh, I think when we test all of these irons, the ping might have a, an advantage in the front to yeah. back dispersion. Agree. Love it. That's it really well. Tell you, right out of the gates, sounds a million sounds, times yeah, better. Yeah, it feels better too. Ooh, a little jumpy. It's a lovely one, Matty. Yeah, that's a bit swing. more online. Yeah, a little low in the face, okay. but it's done well. Done, yeah, it does well. I bet that from a speed perspective is good. That goes out to 215 right on it. But uh, yeah, efficient at 98 club, 138. Nice. nice one. Yeah, good swing. A little higher up in the face. It feels good. You guys are right. It's uh, a little softer a than little the tank. A little bit softer, yeah. Yep. I mean, I think the ball is contributing to a little bit of sound tonight. Sure. That was really good. Probably the best one I hit with this. Not thin. A little higher up the face. Very consistent, also on spin. Yeah. You know, we were kind of praising the, the ping, but the, yeah, the Mizuno is right there as no well. No slouch, yeah. Yeah, a pretty good still strike. Daddy hmm. Yeah, pretty good pretty strike. close, isn't it? A, a little toey, but nice. again, very forgiving. A little higher in the blade? Yeah. 
Good though. Similar, but a little higher in the face. Yeah, it did. I mean, it performed almost the same, didn't it? Compared to the Ping and the Mizuno, what's this feel like? I think the Mizuno was noticeably softer. Mm. Yeah. This feels a lot like the Ping to me. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like it as well. Yeah. That's a beauty. That was good. That was good. It's Handsome. A, it's a little Handsome. low in the face. Yeah, I mean, and you caught a few that bit lower in the face with the Mizuno as well. I think yeah. quite interesting. I always found the P790 to be the kind of speed king and, and always the one that I could go to for a little bit more. I know that was a little, little, little bit more, but yeah, I want to keep it in there. Still pretty much there with pretty the i25. Pretty close, yeah, you're yeah. right. i25, very, very similar yeah. uh, on, on that one. But seeing a little bit more, yeah, a little more performance out of the JPX, even though you caught it a bit lower in the head. Yeah, a lot of efficiency there. <laughs> That's really wow, well. that was good. It, Sounds it, so it actually, good. It might be the best feeling one. Is it really? I think it might be. Yeah. This and the Mizuno would be would be um, side to beat. Yeah, I think they'd be neck and neck. Mm. That's good too. Yeah, that was it nicely. Shade Little lower. In the, shade in the heel maybe. Yep. Good, good two eleven in the strike. carry. Nothing wrong with that. Turned over a bit, but that one's hammered. hit well, wasn't it? Yeah. Catch a piece. It'll catch a little piece. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so just for a reference, before we kind of round up the numbers and we look at these distance orientated irons, let's let's kind of have some baseline number for, for your yeah. uh, your six iron. Because we're going to talk about some of the attributes. People will automatically go straight to the loft and how, you know, that's all that we're really looking at here. And right. we feel like it's not. Yeah. Uh, there's things still to look at that are certainly beyond that. But, um, you know, a five degree weaker club in your six iron at 30 degrees. Yes. Let's, let's see what numbers we're comparing this to. Okay. That's a good one. Mm, Very good nice. swag. Probably worth a little bit more, maybe 195. Yeah, turn it over a bit so yeah. that. Pretty good. Good strike. Yeah, I just love the face. You take it from 190, just uh, you know, find the left side of the green. Yeah, you're putting. That's good. Good swing. It's about as good as I can hit miles. Well, it's about as good as it gets, isn't it? Yeah. We're looking from a speed perspective, we're looking at quite a difference. Uh, as much as eight and a half miles an hour in ball speed. Yeah. Um, obviously, looking at the launch perspective, quite interesting to see mm -hmm. what the manufacturers claim in that the launch and these new modern irons that are significantly stronger in loft will match higher lofted irons. Yeah. yeah. We see it right in front of our face. It's happened, exactly. 17 and 17. Um, so obviously the spin difference is, is obviously related to the spin loft. Mm -hmm. So if we go to club data, Mikey, we can kind of see how that compares. So his angle of attack is somewhere between three and four, call it there. The, the loft change, we don't have maximum oh, dots in that, yeah. but we obviously know that's a little bit higher. It's usually around 25 or something. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So Guys, that's, that's, that's why manufacturers are claiming, that's why they want to tell you that they, they feel they like can still give you the same stopping power, but they can give you this additional distance that really you, you need. There's, there's no doubt about it. Going into greens with shorter clubs yeah. you know, will, will certainly help you score a little bit better. Yeah, four, uh, four irons in the, the uh, distance, the players, players, players distance, distance. You know, we can call I it that. So. Yeah. I think that's uh, fair to say these are players distance. Um, that are definitely worth looking at. Yeah, I think uh, the feel of the Cobra and the feel of the Mizuno stood were surprisingly out. good. You could tell those, those yeah. stood out to you for oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. Cobra especially, I, I, I don't know, I don't remember it being that soft, but you're right, yeah. on the trip we tried them and they, mm -hmm. were, they were soft. I mean, that iconic feel of a Mizuno, you know, the whole catchphrase, nothing feels like a Mizuno. I mean, sure. you could hear it sounded great. Yeah, it sounded it's a nice great. little recap for the end of year. I'm sure someone's sitting there going, oh, I want to set I-525s, mm -hmm. but here's three other options they can look at and they're going to perform relatively yep. the same, yep. you know, pick or choose. Yep. It's nice. It's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. those did great. Definitely. Lots of people out there are always looking for a little extra extra distance, maybe feeling like, you know, they've lost a little bit within their game and, and try and wrestle a little bit back. Agree. Uh, we know this is not for all of you guys and, you know, plenty of you they'll, they'll look at other videos and feel like they're more for you. But trust me, there's, you know, we see, again, we always talk about what All we time. see in here in the Bay and yeah. uh, a lot of the catalysts for the ideas that we have, guys, in the videos is what we, what we face on a daily basis. Yeah, what base. people are looking for. Totally is, yeah. yeah. So, we, you know, we 
we pull these irons an awful lot and we, we, you know, we get a lot of use out of them because you know, more distance and, and kind of more forgiveness on you know, heel and toe strikes that like we've seen, you know, we've seen a variety of strikes there. So and they did some well. toy ones, some low ones, this and that. And yep. it, it wasn't like it, your performance fell off the planet. No, no I think still the, were reaching agree. In the past too, when you had stuff super strong lofted, everyone automatically thought you're gonna hit it lower. Yeah, we might hit it further, mm -hmm. but it's gonna run out. Yeah. I mean, we've just proved that, you yeah. know, it's not running out much. Your carry to total number is pretty tight and you're still launching it super high. Yeah. So huge um, peak height on all yeah. of us. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Good stuff. Okay, guys, um, I think an important one, you know, club fitters, you know, this is, this is why we, we obviously have a variety of irons in the drawer. You know, T100 is a phenomenal iron in yep. its category, but, you know, there's others that are, that are offering great performance and between that set of irons and, and kind of this there's many in between true. Mm. There's, a lot. there's lots there's and lot. lots of kind of yeah. cover the you know 30 degrees 25 degrees there's lots at 27 28 29 yeah you know probably the majority of the drawer set between yeah. these two so we are looking at the book ends here and uh you know again there's, there's going to be people out here that are looking at this going all right you know this is on my list to try next yeah. time i get to a demo mm -hmm. day or i'm going to get to a fitting i'm going to make a little mental note that that's what i want to try based on the performance Definitely. Yeah. Good stuff yeah. all right okay guys thanks for watching lots more in a series like this where we kind of dive into the performance of certain clubs that we carry here at txg uh look forward to sharing more of these types of yeah. videos mm -hmm. totally we'll see you again soon